Hi, I'm the Calculus Professor, and today we'll be talking about antiderivatives. In problem number 25, we'd like to determine the indefinite integral. Integral of 4 square roots of x minus 4 divided by the square root of x dx. Alright, so if we want to compute an indefinite integral like this, uh, all we really need to do is use kind of the reverse of the power rule. So we need to remember what things give us derivatives that look like this. And before I actually go through and find an antiderivative of each of these separate pieces, what we might want to do is write these as x to a power instead of the square root of x, just to make it a little easier for ourselves to think about it. So if I rewrite this thing, I could rewrite it this way. This is the integral of 4 times x to the 1 half power minus 4 times x to the negative 1 half power dx. Okay, so I just rewrote this thing using powers of x instead of having any square roots involved. Uh, and now I can go ahead and use kind of the reverse power rule to find the antiderivatives of these things. So when I take a derivative of something, this number goes down by 1. So if I'm taking an antiderivative, then I know that this number goes up by 1, and then I divide by the new power. Okay, so what I'm going to do when I use the reverse power rule is I take whatever number is right here, increase it by 1, and then divide by that new power. Okay, so this integral is going to be equal to, well, the 4 is just a constant, so I'll just rewrite it. And then I have x, and I raise the power by 1. Right now, that power is a 1 half. When I add 1 to 1 half, I get 3 halves. And then I need to divide this thing by the new power. And the new power is 3 halves, so I divide by 3 halves. Now let's do the same thing for the second guy. I have a minus 4 as a constant. So it's just going to stick around, times x to the, well, right now it's negative 1 half, but I'm going to add 1 to that. So if I add 1 to negative 1 half, I get positive 1 half. So this becomes positive 1 half. And then I'm going to divide by the new power. The new power is 1 half, so I divide by 1 half. And then the very last thing that I need to do is I need to account for the fact that it could have any constant at the end. So I'm going to add C or my constant of integration. Okay, so this is the answer. It's not in a very pretty form. So let's just rewrite it one more time and make it look a little nicer. So 4 divided by 3 halves, I would flip and multiply. And so it's the same as multiplying by 2 thirds. And 2 thirds times 4 is 8 thirds x to the 3 halves. And then if I flip and multiply this 1 half, it's the same as multiplying by 2. So it's minus 8 x to the 1 half plus c. And this is my antiderivative.